cardiovascular disease is a catch-all term for blood vessel and heart diseases. And usually people talk about heart disease such as heart attacks or strokes when they discuss cardiovascular disease. We know that uh, the biggest issue and the biggest link between uh, alcohol and cardiovascular disease is that drinking excessively increases your risk quite significantly. Hypertension or high blood pressure is clearly linked with excess alcohol intake. We know that those people who drink excessively develop higher pressures within their blood vessels and this increases the chances of damaging the lining of the blood vessel. When this happens, we're more likely to get heart attacks, we're more likely to get strokes, um, we're also more likely to develop some rhythm disorders, for example, atrial fibrillation, which is a type of irregular heartbeat that increases very significantly the risk of stroke. We're also more likely to develop pump failure. The left ventricle, our main pumping chamber in our heart, is more likely to fail, become less efficient with excess alcohol intake. There's probably no safe number of units for alcohol if you look at all the evidence combined. The the safest is probably no alcohol at all. What we need to make sure is we stick to um, below the maximum um, recommended limits. And that for men and for women is 14 units per week, evenly spaced, not in one night or two nights. And that's a bit like speed limits. Let's make sure we don't drink to the limit, uh, we, like we don't drive to the limit, make sure we drink below the limit.